Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, first of all uh, run this project uh, shopping cart project so just click on the play button shopping cart.wab that is the default project uh, of this uh, under the solution so just let's start it and here we go uh, so home category product about drop down list some some uh, things are uh, happening about and drop down so in the drop down uh, we have about and drop down list we have to just comment it okay so just start it there is uh, something else drop down so here list uh, there is a lie so just comment it okay so and about is also commented so there is and after you have to check your about and drop down list will disappear after some times okay that's fine and also just i want to hide that search bar so just open again and uh, form where your search bar is exist so just comment it okay and now after that you will see oops edit okay that's not problem refresh it okay uh, in the letter session uh, after few seconds wait for the few seconds and uh, reload automatically after that the search bar will disappear here okay now we click on the category button okay the list of categories is will appear so just click on the edit button yeah that is click, clicks electronics electronic just display order yeah is perfect and delete okay that's fine just perfect okay create a new category electronics and uh, kitchen appliance kitchen appliance and display order is true that's fine and uh, list of category is listed number of products is there there is a no data available in the products so just click on the create new product name is a earphone okay so in the data description there is a 11 one check update your accounts api key so just remove this Okay, that's fine and uh, powered by tinny you know that so here we go and uh, here gone okay. and the price is 600 and uh, mutual Yeah, there is earphone. We select category is electronics. Read it. Oops, getting an error. Could not find a part of the file. C drive user this 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 and www product image. Okay. Uh, okay 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 okay. File stream that file path is not found. So just click on it and you will see that is the ww2 folder and the product image is there is not ww folder image path is not found so just click on it and uh, just stop it and uh, image product image so just create it add a new folder product image and here we'll go so just click on it shopping cart again
so any bug uh, if you're in the project then clear uh, all those things easily and here we go so just click on the products and create a new product oops okay so here we uh, use year form and uh, also we have a year form product price is 600 which file is this select category is electronics and just click on the create button yeah so here we have a earphone earphone and 600 and electronics items but some data will disappear in the action tabs you will see so just close it create a new product is also there so just close it and check your product.js file so under the js folder we have a product.js file and here we go for the data tabs uh, in the id section function data and uh, admin product and the create update id with the data but it's not visible so after that uh, we have to first bootstrap icon uh, so just to go to the install and uh, here we go for the cdn link is there link style set extract cdn just copy that and paste under your uh, layout.css html file so after that uh, data tables we have a pen site dot version control v there is the cdn version okay hs fiddler and there is style sheet okay so let's get started again and here you can see that import cdn.js uh, that is the CSS file okay so let's get started and again okay, just click on the product And here we go where we they have the plus uh, edit icons and the delete icons just click on the edit icons we have a list of uh, another products so there is an uh, the teeny make premium plugin is not enabled on your ab key so it's actually uh, upgrade the teeny migrate uh, so just remove it that if you want to purchase this that is enabled okay so just click on it to create update and uh, here we have a tiny mice uh, creations so just comment it okay so after that in the layout also is there tiny mice there we go so just save this and there is okay so just save this here from okay so if you want to change the file name that the earphone with the headphone so just click on the update button so there is and click on the update there is okay so just click on the backlist and if you want to delete uh, there is file there is the sweet alert on the display are you sure you want to be revert this cancel it okay 
just click on the button yes i want to delete it that is data will be deleted successfully just click on the create button just here on here on and the price is 600 again and uh, the year on category is electronics and click on it okay that's fine now next is going to the details page when click on the home page that will be displayed the whole of the product list okay just going to the home controller just in the customer view section and the, you can see the customer controller and here we have a home controller in the home controller we have a uh, iLogger file so just add another one private uh, iLogger control dot repositories underscore underscore the work that's fine and add this file in your constructor also so just click on it and factors generate add parameter to home controllers like that and after that in the index method we have to save that file as today we get index method enumerable of product and the products uh, and use underscore dot work dot product dot get all include properties is category and uh, just return the view section of the products okay and prepare a index method in the view section and enter the views oops customer and there is no view uh, under the customer section so add view razor view and index empty without any views model just create it oops is there there is no need to create it okay and the home section is there that's fine okay now just paste with this code and that code and uh, here we have a view list my app is not there my app there's a shopping cart shopping cart dot models dot product okay and uh, in the view data title is home page there is no need actually and if you want to take this then there is no issue uh, item in the model that is the product and here you can see the models and the product model is there ID name description and like that and uh, in the home controllers we have index.css2 file okay so after that uh, we have a for each loop one by one items that is uh, image URL on the card displaying the card so item name item price in the form of 00, zero and uh, we have a details button ASP action is details in the home controller ASP route ID is item dot ID class is this JS button okay so let's get started to run your project again and here we go you will see that a list of products on the home page And in the layout.css2 file, in the layout.css2 file where we have a home page, there is home page and uh, ASP area, just to define the ASP area. ASP area is customer and uh, ASP action is index and ASP controller is customer okay home controller okay and 
there is no issue there is no thing to add okay that's fine and after that you will resolve your issue and after that you will see the output on your screen so there is home tab and uh, the output will appear on your home tab there is the default uh, server that is localhost 7142 that is directly redirect on the home page that is page and just go for the details button and uh, thank you uh, guys for this watching and uh, keep watching all of the videos